everybody and welcome to the southeast area of Moon Moth. So I'm sitting here, you can see on my little perch of a uh, little stump of moss. I am sitting on a plastic bag. <laughs> I'm not going to get cold, damp, damp clothes. So I thought it would be nice to spend half an hour in these woods, just spending a little time in contemplation. And the reason being that Abak's father, Edgar, he's very, very elderly, and he he's had a little setback, and he's the last couple of weeks he has felt very unwell. So, with a conversation with his partner, with his mate, Ahachida, last night, and I asked, I thought about bringing honey, and said, would that help? I'm thinking, well, the comb has got some immunity, quite a lot of natural immunity in it and the um, you know the honey is full of sugar and energy that you get he would get energy from that so I said do you want me to bring a spoon and they said yes so I did that and it was also suggested Ahujida suggested that um, if we could bring some chamomile now, I had no idea where I'd get that from because we're all in a major lockdown here and the usual whole food shops, health food shops, are not open. Only the supermarkets and they don't really stray into anything that's half worth <laughs> worth having. But anyway, I've got to, managed to get hold of some uh, chamomile flowers and... Ahachida guided me to a place where I could leave them, which is in her area where she lives, um, which is really nice. So I hope they're okay. Um, I hope they are. And uh, But it's just a wonderful thing that you can do something small for somebody. Something small. Anyways, I found um, a stone that Edgar had hidden for me and I had completely missed and he told me where it was he, he you know he did say to me you need to look at it from a different angle you need to look at it from underneath and I didn't know what he meant and I, what was he talking about um, and I hadn't got it and then I realized through a conversation um, that I was pointed in the right direction um, he felt that he had failed in his communication with me and he hadn't he'd been absolutely spot on it was me being too dim to realize what he was saying and uh, i felt awful really but um yeah he'd left this under a couple of uh, stones so i had a scout round all these stones found the right ones and it's a very small stone i'm going to clean it up and Hopefully I'll fit it in this video so you can see it. But it's full of tiny faces. All their faces. All almost as if they're etched. And they're tiny. You can see. I can see them. It's beautiful. It must have taken hours of work. I don't know how they do it. But anyways, it's a very precious thing. And I'll, uh, I'll fit it into this video so you can see it. I'm just scanning as we're talking because I can see all sorts of... Uh, imagery going on behind me so this is why I'm moving around <laughs> like this <laughs> so um, that was the main reason why I came today was to bring something for Edgar <laughs>
And then on Sunday, which was yesterday, um, I had a visitation. And I did know these people were coming, but I didn't know what the reason was for. Um, and the visitation was from Zorth, and he's up in sort of the, the uh, northwest of America. Um, Anku, who is in the sort of southeast, middle to southeast area. And then Jakut, who is in the northeast area. And uh, and I think Jakut's area covers mainland America rather than the country. I think it includes like Canada um, and that area. Anyway, um, they came along with her back. I'm very aware of their presence. And uh, Zoth had one or two things he wanted to ask me. I was happy in what I was doing and all of this. It was absolutely amazing. And he's a very easy, jovial chap to talk to. Um, and Jakut, Anku and the back stayed very, very quietly in the background. Um, but it was it was really, uh, I was very impressed by it. It was quite emotional, quite emotional. Especially to meet Anku, who I have uh, heard in conversation with Rachel. And I know when Rachel and myself have been in conversation uh, over the phone, he he often comes in with some absolutely cracking asides. He's a very funny man. And uh, so I've sort of spoken to him third hand, as it were, or but not first hand. And so that was a very emotional thing for me as well. And to have a back be confident, confident enough in that I'm doing what I'm doing and I'm doing it okay, that he would present it to Zorth and Anku and Jakut. Um, so that was, I was very pleased that they'd done that. Uh, it's a rare honour. Believe me, it's a rare honour. So I found myself quite emotional yesterday. So that's my story today. And I hope everybody has had, having or has had a good day. And uh, let's hope it's going to get warmer. I know it's only February, so I am asking silly questions. <laughs> but it's freezing. <laughs> I'm just so glad I've got my coffee with me. <laughs> OK, we'll leave it there for now. And uh, take it easy, folks. And uh, when you say your prayers, just remember Edgar. He just needs a little help along the way. OK. Bye for now, folks. Bye.